Hi everyone, it's Dawn. Welcome back to my channel. So I was planning on sharing my favorites of 2022, 22 favorite products of 2022, but I'm still working on my list. It's been hard. It's not that I can't find 22 products. It's really being intentional about what are absolute favorites of 2022 and kind of thinning the list because I could think of so many great things I've tried, not just makeup and beauty products, but all kinds of things. So I will have that video out for you the first week of January because I'm still working on it. Um, but I wanted to do a chatty get ready with me, just a little bit chatty and share with you all Estee Lauder products. That is one brand that for some reason, I never share it with you on my channel. Of course, I share little tidbits of Estee Lauder, like one of my all time favorite foundations, the Double Wear, and of course, the Advanced Night Repair. I have this and I have the eye, the eye balm or serum that goes with it and they're beautiful and everybody talks about these products. So they've been around a long time and they've been in my collection for a long time. And honestly, I'm never without them. You know, whenever I start to run low, I always, I always look for a sale or a deal and repurchase. So those are the kind of products that I have shared from Estee Lauder, but I did partake in their Christmas box last year, 2021, and I got some beautiful things in that box. So usually around Thanksgiving time, I start looking at the holiday boxes from Estee Lauder and Lancome, and I compare the two and decide which one has the better box, usually based on the skincare that I need, whether I need the Advanced Night Repair or if I need the Genifique because I use both of those serums and then they always throw in some of their other skincare products, which I'm always so glad that they do because I learn about other products that I might not have naturally tried because they are expensive creams and they give you a really good size sample of them. So it's a good way to try a lot of their skincare products. But in 2021, I did purchased the Estee Lauder Beauty Box, and I never reviewed it on my channel. I don't know why I didn't. I just never got around to it, but it came with these two beautiful palettes, and I have a cool toned one, and I have a warm toned one, and it made me realize how much I love Estee Lauder eyeshadows and their powder products, their blushes, their highlighters, their bronzers, and um, it also came with this little bronzer, highlighter, blush palette. And a lot of the colors in these palettes are part of their permanent collection. Like some of these shades are in their quads. And these shades, this is the Bronze Goddess 2, which is a little too dark for me. This is the Color Envy Blush and Pink Kiss. And this is the Bronze Goddess Highlighter. And I will link the shade below. It's part of their permanent Bronze Goddess collection right now. And I love it. I'm not going to be sharing those palettes with you, just the blush and highlighter from those palettes, because I want to share with you the Bronze Goddess Noe palette that they released last year. And I actually purchased it right after they released it. And again, I never shared it with you, but I've been playing around with it and it's such a beautiful palette. I find that a lot of times when I'm going out or like it's Christmas or we're going to a wedding or going somewhere where I really want to put my makeup on and have it look really good and photograph well, I usually just go to like all Lancome or all Estee Lauder and just do a face full of makeup. So I was going to share with you today some of my favorite products from Estee Lauder that I have in my collection. And like I said, my collection of Estee Lauder is small because I have always kind of gravitated more to Lancome. I think of them as like the department store brands where you had like your Estee Lauder, Lancome, Elizabeth Arden, which where has that even gone? Does anybody ever use that Elizabeth Arden anymore? It's such a shame. Anyways, I've always gravitated more to Lancome than Estee Lauder. But I think the quality of their products, their makeup, their skincare, their fragrances are on par with each other. Um, I just don't 
talk about Estee Lauder a lot for some reason. So at the end of 2022, my last video of the year will be an all Estee Lauder get ready with me sharing this look and I hope you enjoy it. Let's just jump in and get started. I already have my foundation on and I used one of my very favorite foundations. I've used this foundation for so long. It's always in my rotation and it's one of my HG foundations and it's the double wear from Estee Lauder and I can wear mine in the shade Cool Bone or in the shade Ecru. And today I put this on using a tip that one of you shared with me to make it like a little more emollient for the winter months. And I used a little bit of the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. I put a drop of this into the amount that I just burst under my hand and then just blended it together and applied my foundation that way. It's a great tip and it really works. This is much better. I think this it's because this is an oil-free foundation and this doesn't have oil in it either. I don't think so. They blend together really nicely and it's a great tip that one of you shared with me. So thank you and I wanted to pass it on. And now I'm going to bronze or kind of contour a little bit using the Bronze Goddess bronzer and my shade is 01. I've had this for a couple of years and a little goes a really long way. I really like it and I really like to apply it with the brush that it comes with because it fits right onto my face like where it needs to be. And it's just putting some nice color back into my face. And if you like to contour more than bronze, you can use this sideways to just kind of hit underneath your cheekbone and contour a little bit there. And I even take it and like just kind of hit the crease of my eye and add a little contour there as well. It's a really nice product. I'm like determined to use this up by next year. I'm just gonna use it very often. <laughs> and um, hopefully use it up because it's getting old and I don't want to waste it. It is a really good product. You just get so, so much. For blush and highlighter, I'm going to use this little compact that came in the Christmas box from 2021. I opted to purchase the Estee Lauder Christmas box in 2021 and that's why I went with the Lancome Christmas box this year for 2022. I kind of like to go back and forth between the two and this is called Pink Kiss and it is part of the permanent collection for the Color Envy blushes that Estee Lauder has and I'm just going to pick up a little bit of this onto a Luxie like kind of pointed brush. So both of my daughters went back home yesterday. It's Wednesday today. So my eldest left in the morning and then my middle daughter left actually on Monday night. So they both left and were gone yesterday. And I don't know what got into me. I went into like a cleaning frenzy in the house and I cleaned all the bathrooms. I cleaned I just basically did a deep cleaning of the entire house. I even dusted blinds. It took me six and a half hours. I never clean like that. I usually break it down into rooms or like I'll do all the bedrooms one day, or do all the bathrooms another day and kind of rotate like that. Um, but I did like the entire house. I'm actually a little bit sore today. It feels good though. When I woke up and came downstairs, the whole house just smells and looks so clean. I even dusted the spindles on the the staircase and like every nook and cranny. I dusted ceiling fans, um, washed floors, you name it, I did it. And I feel like very accomplished today. I threw all the sheets that my daughters, all the beds from when they were here into the wash, wash sheets, wash towels, just got everything done. Do you ever do that clean like all in one full swoop like that? It feels so good when you do, but I'm never motivated to do it all in one day. It just seems so daunting, but I just started and one thing led to another. So now I'm good for a few weeks. I don't really have to do anything except the daily like upkeep of the house. Okay, this is Modern Mercury, and it's a highlighter that Estee Lauder sells, and it also comes in that big compact like the bronzer I used, and it's part of the permanent collection. I'm just taking it on the same brush and hitting the tops of my cheekbones. This is really pretty, and how would I describe this? And it's just like a nice champagne highlighter. Really pretty. It, it really works well with the Pink Kiss.
And the bronzer that I have in this compact, which you can't still get anyway, is the Bronze Goddess 2. I used the 1, so this is a little bit too deep for me. I do use it for like an eyeshadow in the crease and things like that, but it's a little too deep for me to bronze with. And the palette that I'm using is the Bronze Goddess Nui palette. I have the original Bronze Goddess palette still from several years ago, and it's really pretty. It's definitely more summery shade more like um, some bright turquoise colors. They have a few shades like that in this one, but this one's a little more like mysterious and glamorous um, for, I guess, night, Nui. <laughs> and it looks like this, whoops. And it's just such a soft, pretty palette. And I am just gonna take the lightest shade right here with a fluffy brush. And I already have my eyelids primed, so I have a little primer to stick so everything will stay adhered to my eyelids and not crease. And this is just a really pretty kind of matte ecru or vanilla shade just to um, set my eyelid primer and use as an a space. Now I'm gonna go this with this shade, which is another matte shade. And it's kind of like a taupe, a taupey, very light brown. And I'm going to apply this into my crease and above, just doing kind of like the windshield wiper motion. These are very creamy. They're not very powdery or dusty at all. And they have some really good color payoff. And then I'm gonna take what's left in the brush and run it along my lower lash line. And this is the fun part because you have this gold shade and then you have sort of like this orangey shade, bronzy orange. And then you have like this matte kind of magenta, the turquoise blue, which is um, definitely a little more sheer and sparkly. And then you have a black that I like to use as an eyeliner. And then you have this middle shade right here which is another really pretty, like a pop shade. And then there's this kind of red shade. Look at that, wow. <laughs> That's really pretty. I don't use that red shade a whole lot. Um, hmm. I'm gonna go in with the matte magenta right here. And I'm just gonna pick some up with sort of like a, a little bit more of a dense brush. And I'm gonna pack it on in the outer corner and then just softly blend it. So my eldest son is in the process of deciding where he's gonna to go to college. All his applications have been submitted and now he's starting to get his acceptance letters. So we're going through kind of an exciting time with my son. Um, he applied to mostly um, local colleges in, or in the Midwest, I guess I should say, not really local. Um, but with all of my kids, we always told them we want them to go like no further than three hours away so that we could get to them if they needed us. And so far, having two already, one through college, one still in college, that rule has really saved us so many times because they have needed us or they've needed things or they've needed to come home and they've been close enough where they could do that. And um, they've also been able to make it to like family events like weddings and Christmas and things like that because it's close enough to still drive home. You don't have to get a flight. So that rule has really been a good one for our family. So he's applied mainly around the Midwest. And I know he'll go somewhere within like a three hour span away from us. Three hour span, I don't know if that's the right word. But anyways, you understand what I'm trying to say. So he'll be fairly close. Okay, now I'm just gonna kind of smoke it up a little bit into the crease and a little bit above to have that nice gradient of the taupey color and the magenta kind of connecting there and just keeping everything very soft and blending out the edges. And now I'm gonna take this color in the center that I said would make a nice pop shade and I'm just gonna pop that. Ooh, that's really pretty. I'm just gonna pop that right there. 
So do you guys have any New Year's Eve plans? I can't believe we're already talking about New Year's Eve. Do you celebrate New Year's Eve? We are going to go to dinner at my in-laws house and my sons are both home still and they have some cousins that are about their age and we just all like get together and have dinner and play some games. And we're usually home before midnight, but we're still up at midnight here. So we kind of rain in the new year. Um, and it's fun, but we don't do anything too crazy. So I won't be like, I don't need like a formal gown or anything like that. Let me know what you guys are planning on doing for New Year's. It's changed so much from when I was in my 20s. When I was in my 20s, I was working as a nurse and I worked the night shift and I would trade Christmas for New Year's Eve off. That's how important New Year's Eve was to me. I wanted to go out with my friends and go to New Year's Eve parties and things like that. Um, so I would swap with the moms who wanted to be home with our kids for Christmas. If they had to work Christmas, we would just swap and I would work Christmas and then they would work New Year's Eve for me. And it was, uh, it was a good swap back then. I wouldn't want to do that now, now that I'm a mom and Christmas is really important to me. Um, okay, I have a little Stila eyeliner and I'm just going to tight line my upper line and my water line and I'll be right back. And now I've got my teeny tiny little detail brush from Rare Beauty and I'm going to use the black in the palette and just kind of um, flick it here for a wing. I don't have any eyeliner on my upper lash line nor beneath my lower lash line, but when I connect it like this, it kind of looks more cohesive like I do have eyeliner in other places, I guess. I run a little bit of it underneath my lash line. For mascara, I'm gonna use the Sumptuous Extreme from Estee Lauder. I started using this mascara years ago. I think when it first started coming out and Angie Hutton Flash, she reviewed it and she absolutely loved it. And it is a really, really, really good mascara. The only time I use it is when I get it in my Christmas boxes or a free gift when I purchase something else. Um, usually you get a mini size, um, but I really, really like it. I don't know why I don't use it more often than I do because it is a really good mascara. It does have like this really giant brush, which is kind of weird, but it does really get in there and get your lashes all the way at the roots, even though the brush is so jumbo. Okay, I'm gonna let that kind of dry and I'm gonna do the other eye. So the weather is still pretty freezing here. It's still, it's like 18 degrees, but that feels warm compared to the below zero temps that we had around Christmas time. And it's funny because even my dogs, when they would go out when it was so cold like that, they would just go out or and run right back in. One of them even like snuck and went in the house because she didn't want to go out um, because it was just so cold. I can't blame her, but you know, she can't be doing that either. But now that it's like 18 degrees, it feels really warm by comparison. And it's funny because they will actually go like wander around the yard now and stay outside a little bit um, because it feels so much warmer than it was. It's really funny because like when it first starts getting down to the teens here where I live, we're always so cold. But then after you have a little burst of like the Arctic, suddenly you appreciate when the temperature is anywhere above like 15 degrees and it's supposed to get back up into the 30s I think by the end of the week so I'm really excited about that because it's just so cold you don't even want to leave the house. I have two favorite lipsticks from Estee Lauder. One is Tiger Eye and I already swatched it on my hand and it's so pretty. It's kind of like a nudie with a gold shift Kind of like um, a peachy gold shade. It's so, so pretty. And the next one is called Nude Envy, I believe. And I don't think you can still get this one. I have seen it at the Cosmetics Company outlet, but when I look online, it seems like the only place you can find it is like eBay and things like that. I'll have to see if I can find a dupe for it because it's such a beautiful color. And this one is like a pinky shade, but it also has some iridescence to it, like a little bit of a gold 
sparkle to it, no glitter or anything like that, but they both are a little bit iridescent and I love that. And since you can't get Nude Envy, let's try Tiger Eye. I didn't use a lip liner, but if you absolutely have to use a lip liner, Estee Lauder makes beautiful lip liners, but I often just grab MAC Spice because I have several of those and it goes with a lot of the lipsticks that I wear. So MAC Spice lip liner works really well with the tiger eye. And I'm thinking if I need to do anything else, I think this is it. Let's just put a little bit of setting spray on and I'm just gonna try the MAC Fix Stay Over that I've been using. I shared it with you when I did a little MAC mini haul and I really like this, it really does. It makes my makeup look really nice and it stays all day long. And um, I really, I really like it. So let me bring you in close. It's such a pretty palette and I only showed you one very simple look. Remember, it's got like all these other shades. So you could basically do everything I did, but add a little bit of any color that you prefer in the outer corner to smoke it out. These are beautiful, like kind of one and done eyeshadow colors as well. I love this palette and they haven't released a new one in a while. So I think, I don't know, we'll have to wait and see what they do in the spring. I think the Bronze Goddess range usually releases any new products in the past, usually around the spring, because summer is when everyone is thinking like a Bronze Goddess, but really any time of year you could use it. It's such a pretty makeup look. So I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you did. Let me know if you have any of these products. Let me know if you have anything that you love from Estee Lauder. It's a, that's a brand that I haven't explored not nearly enough. So yeah, thank you for spending some time with me. Happy, happy new year. And I will see you right after the new year with my faves of 2022. So yeah, have a blessed and beautiful day. I'll see you next time.